是，对，背包。那个背包是可以，把它把它把它收在里头。包上了，装一充电是个包容性。确实包容。没事，老实话。I'm in Western China, navigating a world racing against time. This is the place I'm too familiar with, but yet there are many things I've never experienced before. With memories disappearing daily and culture going with them, I got to capture this before it's too late. There is Basli markets offering traditional meals cooked by hand. There is history spanning 5,000 years, with over 20 dynasties have came and gone, rising and falling. Mountains and rivers nurture the legends of fame and truth, and all those stories echo about the past. Chongqing, a mountain city, and a river city. It's also known as the fog metropolis because of its unusual landscape, which quickly becomes foggy. Chongqing, with a history spanning 3,000 years, is an economic hub in the upper Yangtze River Basin, home to over 30 million people. It is a mega city with many bridges and a complicated transportation infrastructure that is often referred to as the Manhattan of China. It's all because the opening of the port 100 years ago opened the door to this place. After parking our car by the riverside dock, we plan to head to Baixiangjie, which is the first financial area in Chongqing and the site of the city's commercial board. To find Bai Xiangjie, we found the ruins of several past gates. In the past, city gates were vital facilities for city protection. Chongqing has a total of 17 gates, with nine open and eight closed due to feng shui, indicating that Chongqing is an invincible city. One of Chongqing's nine gates, and one of the oldest. It dates back to roughly 2,000 years ago, toward the conclusion of the Song Dynasty. This gate was previously used to announce the hour by drumming. The prosperity around Taiping Gate peaked at the development of Chongqing's port, which was closely linked to neighboring Baixiangjie. Taiping Gate housed many foreign firms, domestic and international businesses, and several shipping companies established their headquarters nearby, transforming Taiping Gate into a bustling pier. For a time, this neighborhood was Chongqing's political and economic hub. Fortune. They 
passed through the deadly three gorges of Yangtze River, arrived at Chongqing. He climbed up to the steep stone stairs, and entered the city gates. Since then, ships may access Chongqing via the Yangtze River, thanks to him. Port's opening also left various historical landmarks in Chongqing. This building is the best surviving of the unstored buildings on Baixiangjie. It was previously a post-port opening division of an American commercial corporation later changed into a Chinese-owned enterprise. Once upon a time, it even became a famous dance hall some notable figures visited before. However, it's all gone, only left an empty house now. Night fell. I walked into Fengqiu, the residence of the richest person in the southwest at that time, Li Yaoting. This building was built 150 years ago. According to the records, the mansion occupied more than 1,000 square meters. The whole building has a boat-like architectural form combines Western and Chinese design elements. In 1906, Chongqing entered the electrical era when Li Yaoting turned on 50 electrical lights at his mansion. Nowadays, it no longer holds the same splendor as the mansion of the formerly wealthy Southwest Tango. Instead, it now contains offices and eateries inside, surrounded by skyscrapers.
last a hundred years. It's like the histories of different times have all overlapped into these buildings, giving us a peek into the past. Experience for me because while a few years ago I was primarily focused on the work and daily routine of living here, on this visit I found myself to be a tourist in the city and noticed many interesting and novel things. Cabs that once required gasoline are now lining up when waiting for the turn to change the batteries, and there are other RVs in the parking lot. Of what used to be only small cars underneath the office buildings. All of these things I had not noticed before, and it seems that the only time we can notice and marvel at the new changes that suddenly jump out at you is after you've been away for a spell. Oh, 
咁做下我似，我能够收钱嘅。哦，帮助，其实帮助。收钱喂。飞起来是有点做，一个月好多钱哦。六十来斤。他也是二十来斤。当然啦，当然嘞，讲轻轨那些就可以。讲轻轨我没试过嘅，我也不得行。你用飞起应该。也不得行。应该得行。我去搞一下他，没试过。哎，那个，那个，你想怎样就可以进去。啊！我我我都平时都没进去，我看到白个村里狗都进去，白个往后确实充兵是个包容精神。确实包容。也是包容性啊。嘿，爸爸。这个外地所以充兵做网红，被同学的爱子充兵。比如啊，充兵确实是个包容精神。要不然我们我在那耍去，要不然那欢迎那耍。嗯。因为我们找找到目标，我跟别说他们那么走。外地充兵那点儿轻。今天的今天的下降的话，平时都很都很好打的。但是，我听那个网上说的哈，春节吃大烟那些，春节人家很冷。好打。你说啦。好打。把我的狗儿给我爸爸遇了一段时间，他两个都分不开了。分不开了哇！我那狗来说，我我二买的。哦。他上班，我我没事，我都陪他。他要不然听我的话去，不听我娃儿的话。他还不是，他好听我爸爸的话。他跟到我们带路的时候，他都很很性格很恶躁；，他跟我爸爸带路的时候，他都很温温顺。因为年纪嘛，比比你要上班早，休息时时间少一些。For a very long time, Chongqing was an unknown land. But now, with over 30 million residents, Chongqing has grown into a mega city in the century after the port's establishment. To understand what a person from Chongqing has gone through in these past 100 years, a European might need a thousand years. The streets I used to stroll down as a child have given way to broad avenues. The skyscrapers I see here today will never be the same as they were yesterday. And also trains can now pass through the hills and even buildings. History has altered significantly, and we enjoy the modern world's advantages every day. But real life is different. At the foot of the hill, we ran into the man who helped his busy son with his dog. Halfway up the hill, we saw the hardworking cleaners doing the same physical work they did 30 years ago. But they refused to stop for a cup of coffee under the night by office window. 